Hey, how's it going? Going good. I'm on the road. Cool, cool. What time do you think you're going to be here? Okay. So, seven or, oh, probably eight. Okay, cool. Yeah, so, what do you got going on tonight? Just working on my dad. Other than, oh, I gotta slow down. They're gonna pull me. I'm going to Calusa right now. Oh, the Calusa County and Bandit. I just passed like, I just passed like a cop right there, too. Look at you, fing cake. Yeah, look at you, fing gas tank. Fuck the police! I was in the situation earlier when uh, I was in a tight spot, called my bro, I said, bro, I need you to do me a solid. And he said, what is it, dude? And I said, I need you to do this. And he says, no sweat, I got you. Because I was like, I called it, I, I was like, bro, I need you to do me a bro solid. You know? He understood. He understood? Yeah, so. <laughs> so, this is my car. It's a 2007 Toyota Prius with the Thule roof rack. Uh, her name is Sasha Gray. I named her uh, named her after the porn star Sasha Gray. Um, this, uh, this is my passenger seat. As you can see, it's full. As is the rest of the car. Pretty much, uh, pretty much my whole life is in here. Well, technically, I'm homeless, so that's cool. But I have skateboards, sleeping bags, you know, I got everything in here. Is that, is that a suit in the back? Yeah. What's yeah. the suit for? So I brought my tux back, because my brother's funeral is like two weeks out, and I needed a suit. And I was gonna get myself a suit with my dad's money that I've been managing. But now that I'm not managing his money anymore, I am gonna wear my old suit and a pair of jeans. Mmm, stus. Pretty stus. <laughs> wow. <sighs> I thought it was going to be dad. I was prepared for dad and I, I, w I wasn't expecting Joe at all. And you know, JD, he's like, hey bro, I got bad news. And you know, I was like, ah oh, shit, it's dad, right? And he goes, no, it's, it's Joe. And I was like, fuck. And I, I just, I mean, I just seen my brother right before I left. Right before I left Fernando's, and I'm at my buddy's birthday, you know, so I can't, I can't like go back out there and be like, hey guys, guess what, you know. So I just tried to play it low key, but it was hard, man. Like I, I kept telling my brother, I was like, no, nah, man, like come on, come on, dude, like come on, you know, that's like that didn't happen, you know. <laughs> right before. Like the last time he talked to Joe, the last thing that Joe said, what he said, you know, Uncle I was talking to him, like, hey Joe, you're, you're running yourself ragged, you know, you gotta, you gotta stop, you gotta, you gotta settle down and, and take it easy, you gotta rest, you know. And Joe just goes, I can rest when I'm dead. <laughs> Fucking classic Joe, classic Joe. I can rest when I'm dead, fucker. That's how it goes, man. Are you going to do what I asked you to do? I will do what you asked. Give me your word. I promise. I mean, it's crushing me. I understand this that. This is a really hard mother thing because Joe's not here. I understand. You can do this for Joe. You can call her for Joe, and you can call her for Greg. It's I will. Mother's Day. I, I will call her and I will call her on behalf of them for you. And for All them. right. Okay. All right. Bye. I love you. Bye. I love you too.
Rosie okay or no Rosie's? I just wanted to call on Mother's Day, and and I know it's I know it's a hard one, but you're like a mom to me too, and Joe and Greg would have wanted me to call for them. You were a great mom. You were. says happy Mother's Day um, for every memory you've made every smile you've inspired and every person you've hugged tight this day is for you this is what you used I don't like that at all I really that, that is the first card that I've done that I really haven't liked Look, you can see the fucking lines there. You see that? You see the lines? You see the, the fucking line in the P and line in there? Fuck. Everything, every time I try and, I try, uh, fuck. Every time I try and, I'm just gonna give up, dude. Can't even speak right now. Fuck. I think it looks like shit, and it's totally not my best work. Now it looks totally shitty. Fuck. Fuck. God damn it. Fuck. Son of a bitch. S fuck. Fuck. I, sp I spelled the name wrong. Can't even do that right. Now we have to go back. It's the camera, dude. The camera's making me nervous. This is taking me twice as long, I think, as it would have normally taken me. This is the first font that just doesn't feel like me, dude. You know what font you should use? What? So, I'm cleaning out my dad's. He, uh... He went to the hospital for a broken hip and ended up having an MI while he's in the hospital. A, a small, a small heart attack. Um, and they ended up having to do a quad bypass on him. And so... Me and my brother Joe were basically taking his place, and we had to we had to move out of storage, and we're you know like fixing him up here because he just moved into this place. He was home. He was a homeless vet for a long time after the divorce, and then he uh, he finally got a place with the VA, and then he found this place, so he moved back to Gilroy. Me me and my dad recently, after he came out of surgery, I don't know if it was the meds or what, but he like really disrespected me on the phone over the phone, and just said, I want. I want my, I want everything back and blah blah blah, and you're being irresponsible. And I think it's because my aunt was fucking psycho, and she was jealous of my dad. And it, it's just, a, it's a long story. <laughs> Most of the stuff around here is all just stuff from the storage, tools, and Joe is helping me go through it. Um, but now it's just me. We haven't told dad about Joe yet because we're, we, he, I mean, he just had a quad bypass. Like, you, you have, you have, a, you have your pump taken out, fucking rebuilt and put back in you. Then, you know, getting told that your first son, probably your closest son is, is dead and you just lost your other son two years ago. Like, we're, we're scared that right after the surgery, because that's when Joe died while my dad was under. Um, I thought it was dad when my brother called me and it's going to, it's going to hit him pretty hard. But right now we're kind of fighting. But I told him I told him that I'd finish the house, and that's something I need to do before before I give him all his stuff back. So that's what I'm doing this week. Where's your ball? Huh? I'm gonna take a shower now. I'm gonna
gonna scrub myself in my chair. I can't stand up. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at you. Look at you. Up here, this is where I grew up as a kid. This was my safe haven as a kid, and Uncle Al's, you know, been my second dad. So to me, this is uh, this is more home than anywhere else. I've been coming here since I was maybe like, I think before I could walk, come up here to camp. Um, help my uncle. He's got the tractor going down there right now. Uh, I don't know if you can hear him in the background. You know, he's, he's my other dad. You don't have to have a biological father to have, have a dad, you know. And my uncle Al is like my, when I say uncle Al, it's, you know, it's, it's basically like saying dad. He's a total mountain man. I mean, he, he's built everything up here. Everything here is here because he built it like 20, 25 years ago. Carved out this entire canyon, built the road, built the bridge, built this entire place, the, uh, the shed over here. Uh, I mean, he's a mountain man. Lives in his camper. Taught me pretty much everything I know about the mountains and at least half of what I know about being a man. He's one of the most humble, kind men I know. I mean, he will literally give you the shirt off his back when he when he doesn't have <laughs> have the shirt to give you. You know, like it uh, that's where I learned real humility, real real um, kindness from is from him. You know, you could say he's a nice guy. I throw some racism out. Oh Contractor God. Pedro up here in his fucking uh, GMC hauling, hauling whatever the fuck this is, which I'm guessing is like a big bag of rocks, honestly, um, decided to tie his, his trailer gates together with fucking, um, it looks like baling wire that you would use to like tie together a, a, like bales of hay. Anyway, so that's, that's the only thing standing in between the, the load and the front of my car. Oh shit, dude, he just went off the road again. Anyway, so we're hoping that the bag flies out and totals our car so I get a new car with with uh, fewer miles, like brand new, and not and not a front, front end salt fucked up. But if it doesn't total the car, it'll definitely be damaged and, and you'll still have to pay hella insurance. So, look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh, it's coming, it's coming. Come on, come on. New car, new car, new car, new car, new car. Oh, he's off the road again. Look at that, the fucking axle's gonna bust. Come on, new car, new car. Ah, uh, don't turn, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Fuck. We were this close, we were this close. The thing was ready to fucking fly out. That son of a bitch. We are heading to Panther Beach, one of my favorites. It's in the Davenport area past Santa Cruz. Something about going to the ocean makes me feel okay. It's kind of like a zen where like the land meets up with the water and it's open and it's beautiful and it makes me feel at peace. If I'm not in the mountains, I'm at the beach. It's pretty much my life.
you know, my friends are always asking me, they're like, Garrett, dude, like, every, every other day you have some shit go wrong in your life, you know, like, you're homeless now, like, your housing fell through, your dad's having, like, fucking quad bypass, you lost your job, you know, all these, all these things, and I don't even see that, so it's, it's like a reality check of, like, oh, shit, like, I am going through a lot, but I don't know, I, I never get down, like, I think, like, one of the, one of the coolest things in life is just the obstacles that you have to go through, things you have to do to overcome your, your challenges, you know, if, if, there, if life was easy, it would be boring, I'm blessed because I, I have an exciting life, every time I face a challenge, like, I'm blessed with good friends, I'm, I'm blessed with good family, and trade that for anything.